My name is Brian Yarbrough, and I'm a product marketing engineer for Vichet Dell Electronics. This webcast will provide an overview of Vichet's broad portfolio of current sense products, with resistance values from 1 ohm down to 50 micro ohm and sizes from 0603 to 8518 for high power, high reliability automotive applications. In this overview, I will cover the broad range of current sense resistors of the chip sizes such as 2512 to 0603, ultra low value surface mount device shunts, power metal plate technology, large shunts which are used in battery management down to 50 micro ohms, and then close with a short overview of the data that is available for design support. First, I will start with the introduction of the WSL power metal strip technology. Vichet is the leader in innovative resistor solutions, which includes the Power Metal Strip series. The concept for these devices began as a sketch on a napkin from a dinner meeting at a local restaurant in Columbus, Nebraska, with Vichet's founder, Dr. Felix Zanman. It depicts a novel new current sense resistor with an all-metal welded construction. This new construction would provide resistance values lower than was previously possible with the surface mount technology of the day, such as ceramic chip resistors. The breakthrough would also provide superior pulse performance, low TCR, low inductance, and low noise for very low resistance values. The concept was so groundbreaking that the napkin is archived at the Smithsonian Institute. The Dale Resistors has production in many areas of the world with a broad range of resistor technologies from the low value current sense power metal strip to high reliability and high voltage thick film, high precision and high reliability thin film, pulse and power wire wound products, among others. Manufacturing for several products occur in more than one location, which provides a robust and flexible supply chain in the event of natural disaster or other disruptive events. Many of the current sense products in today's webinar are produced in three geographically separate regions, indicated by green, and they are Columbus, Nebraska in the USA, Beersheba, Israel, and Juarez, Mexico. Each of these locations are certified to ISO 9001 and IATF 16949. Additionally, Vichet has its own certified independent third-party test lab located in Columbus, Nebraska. The construction of a power metal strip current sense resistor consists of an all metal welded structure with a solid copper terminal, which is electron beam welded to a low TCR resistance element. Unlike thick film chip resistors, this construction doesn't depend on a ceramic substrate. The element is thick enough to be self-supporting. This means that the resistor element mass is substantially greater than that of other current sense technologies. Therefore, it provides superior pulse performance by absorbing more electrical energy before reaching a temperature limit. Furthermore, the resistance element is more robust than other technologies and can tolerate higher temperatures. This technology is also laser trimmed for a clean cut. Other trimming technologies such as abrasion can create tapering edges in the resistance element. This can cause harmonic distortion or circuit ringing. Laser trimming also allows for a wide range of resistance values without having to order a custom part. So you can get the resistance value you need for your design instead of compromising on performance with a value that is pretty close. As a material's temperature changes, the dimensions increase or decrease very slightly as it expands or contracts. The temperature change can be a result of environmental change or caused by continuous or pulse applied power. In duty cycled or pulse applications, power is switched off and on causing a repetitive heating and cooling or expansion and contraction cycle. These cycling events can create a long-term reliability concern for the solder joint of a surface mounted device when there is a significant difference between the rates of geometric expansion. The different rates are sometimes referred to as CTE mismatch or coefficient of thermal expansion mismatch. The solder provides the electrical and mechanical interface between the circuit board material and the mounted device. 
in the case of a ceramic chip resistors and FR4, the rigid ceramic with a CTE of 5 parts per million per degree C does not expand and contract at the same rate as the FR4 material at 15 parts per million per degree C, which applies a shear stress to the solder joint. Over time, the stress causes a work hardening of the solder alloy, causing embrittlement and then fatigue stress cracking, leading to a resistance value change in the connection or failure. Because of CTE mismatch and solder joint fatigue issues of ceramic chip resistors, automotive designers have rules to limit their use to only the smaller sizes, such as 0805 or smaller, or even side terminated footprints. The WSL, all metal welded construction, has a CTE of 13 parts per million per degree C, because it does not depend upon a rigid ceramic substrate and so it has a rate of expansion that is more comparable to the CTE of FR4. Since it does not have a large CTE mismatch as compared to the FR4 material, it has a better long-term solder joint performance. For this reason, the WSL has been chosen for automotive applications in the larger, higher power footprints, such as 2512, 2010, and 1206 sizes where ceramics are forbidden. In this comparison of relative cross sections of current sense technologies, the red symbolizes the metal composition of the resistance element. The power metal strip technology is a solid, self supporting resistance element, so it is all red and represents a cross sectional thickness of 8.9 thousandths of an inch, and in some cases thicker. Thick film technology is a composition of metal and glass matrix. This is the reason for the pixelated red metal layer of 0.8 thousandths of an inch. Thin film has a continuous metal layer, but is very thin at about 0.25 thousandths of an inch. The power metal strip is noticeably thicker than the other technologies. This large difference in mass translates into superior pulse performance capabilities. The unique construction of a power metal strip resistor makes it impossible to provide its pulse capabilities in a single chart, which is often available for thick film chip resistors. In a chip resistor, the resistance element mass does not change substantially across the resistance range. However, the power metal strip series has many variables that influence the resistance element mass within the same size resistor. To achieve resistance values, we vary element thickness, such as thicker resistance element for low resistance range and thinner for upper value ranges, alloy, which changes the specific heat capacity, the number of cuts that removes more of the resistance element material at higher resistance values with many cuts and less material at lower resistance values. To assist designers in determining pulse capability, we have developed an online tool that accounts for these factors as well as ambient temperature derating. Boucher's online pulse calculator allows designers to select the product series, enter the desired resistance value, and modify the ambient temperature conditions. They can then compute to provide a part specific pulse capability and a reference part number. This is also an option to change the chart between energy and power, whichever best suits their needs. The chart consists of three zones that display the capability curve over time. The first zone is defined as pulse, which is generally less than 20 milliseconds. This is a short transient that causes a temperature rise in the resistance element. The transient is too fast to dissipate to the surroundings, so the energy is limited to the mass of the resistance element and the thermal limit. As the pulse duration extends into the surge region of time, the energy can transfer to the terminals. This increases the mass available for the dissipation, and so the energy capacity increases over this period. The last zone is the region of the short time overload rating. It defines the maximum energy capacity for the part, including the circuit board. This is a new landing page called Jewel Wizard, one word, and can be found using the term in the Bechet search bar. The page provides a single location to find pulse tools that are available for many different types of resistors, including current sense. 
The first tool at the far left with the red border tile is the pulse energy calculator. This will help you determine the energy content of your waveform. Start by selecting a few typical waveforms such as square wave, capacitive charge discharge, and exponential decaying pulse, or also known as a lightning waveform, and then provide a few additional parameters to calculate the joule energy content or average power dissipation required to withstand the wave. This information is what is required to make a resistor selection, either based on energy capability of the resistor element or a required power rating. If you already know your joule or power rating requirement, but do not know a specific resistor that meets those requirements, then select the pulse product selector tool that has the blue border tile. Here you will input a target resistance value, temperature condition, and joule requirement. You will be presented with a list of products that meets or exceeds those requirements. It also contains parametric filters that help you isolate a specific wire wound resistor. No longer will you need to have a specific resistor in mind and find a chart that provides a pulse capability that is limited to a single temperature. This tool automatically derates based on your input temperature. Additionally, the pulse product selector conveniently provides the datasheet link and if you need additional technical support, you can select the link at the bottom of each page of the datasheet and your inquiry will be routed specifically to a product engineer that will respond to your question. The other three tiles, bordered in green, are to specific product categories of pulse capability charting tools. The categories are surface mount current sense power metal strip such as WSL, surface mount wire wound like the WSC, and large shunts like the WSMS to be later introduced. These charting tools provide a resistor specific pulse capability that factors in temperature derating across a duration of time. And at the far right of the Joule pa Wizard page are several convenient links to additional resources related to the topic of pulse. The chip sizes of the WSL, WSL-18, and the WSLP power metal strip resistors can increase the power density in your design in two different ways. First, by moving across the colored bars through the other series, we can see the power rating increases as the resistor size decreases. Second, the red boxes illustrate that by changing series with the same size, you progress to higher power ratings. Each of these options is available with an all-metal welded construction for consistent, robust, and reliable performance. The power metal strip technology of the WSL extends to many other series providing the same benefits of the all metal welded construction. As a result, these series have the same performance traits of high pulse performance, low resistance values, low TCR, low thermal EMF, and tight tolerance. Most of these current sense resistors are laser trimmed to resistance value and tighter tolerance which provides a design flexibility without being custom. A wide range of power ratings up to 10 watts for the WSHP. This high power rating is achieved with a large termination located directly below the resistance element that minimizes the distance between where the heat is created to where it is dissipated through the circuit board. A wide resistance range from 1 milliohm to 1 ohm for the WSR, both the WSHP and WSR are laser marked, which allows resistance values to non-traditional values, such as 12.5 milliohms and tighter tolerances to 0.5%. The Kelvin termination of the WSK provides better TCR performance and tolerances down to 0.1%, and high temperatures up to 275 degrees C for the WSLT. The Vichy Automotive Grade rating of these products means that they are qualified to the AEC Q200 and have additional quality requirements and controls to assure robust performance. This data is available upon request that will support lifetime performance projections in current measurement circuits. 
In the previous overview of WSL related products, we covered multiple series with variations of the power metal strip technology that provided different performance benefits and each of which are driven by special processing, material, or construction. Power rating or power density is a performance characteristic driven heavily by construction. To help explain, we will start with the detail that surface mounted devices dissipate most of their power through the circuit board material instead of the air. This means that a surface mount device with a shorter path length to the board will be more effective at transferring heat to the circuit board as in the case of the WSL wide terminal device. This type of construction is also referred to as side terminated or reverse termination. In addition to the shorter path length, they also have a larger area of terminal that thermally interfaces with the circuit board that aids in heat transfer. The WSHP construction uses similar construction elements to enhance thermal performance to enable a power rating of 10 watts. The large copper terminals are wrapped below the resistance element to provide a short thermal path from where the heat is generated to where it can be dissipated. The construction also utilizes a large thermal interface to the circuit board to maximize heat transfer. These current sense resistors extend the power metal strip technology with a construction that provides a larger resistance element and a lower resistance termination than is possible with standard chip sizes. These configurations enable low resistance values down to 0.1 milliohm while maintaining a low TCR. The WSLP3921, WSLP5931, and WSLF2512 offer a low profile for designs with clearance restrictions, but this also minimizes the loop height above the board that minimizes inductance. The Kelvin termination of the WSLP4026 and WSLP2726 and WSK1216 provide the best TCR performance of the comparable resistance value of a standard two-terminal construction. We will go into greater detail with the next slide. The very low resistance values of these series, as low as 0.1 milliohms, improves efficiency by minimizing power dissipation, but they also provide high power ratings to eliminate the need for parallel resistance elements which can lead to measurement error caused by current flow in the measurement circuit due to differences in the resistance between the elements. These resistors feature the same precision electron beam welded construction as the WSL that makes them ideal for high current pulse applications. This robust construction makes them ideal for many applications that may need to withstand high fault conditions or operating conditions such as a stalled rotor condition of a motor drive, inrush of an inverter drive, and high short circuit currents for battery management. These current sense resistors have demonstrated reliability for the broad range of demanding conditions defined by the AEC Q200 out to 2000 hours and cycles, not the typical 1000 hours or cycles. This is the reason that they are being designed in by the biggest names in the automotive electronics industry for the conversion of hydraulic or mechanical to electric systems, as well as electric and hybrid vehicle systems. Many designers are familiar with using a four pad layout design for a tube terminal device to provide a more accurate current measurement as compared to a standard two pad layout but it is not able to improve TCR performance of a component. The temperature coefficient of resistance or TCR of a resistor is a combination of the portion of resistance from the resistance element and the resistance contribution of the copper terminal. We prefer that the greatest portion of the total resistance be dominated by the low TCR resistance alloy as compared to the high TCR copper terminal. However, as you approach lower resistance values, the copper terminal becomes a larger contributor to the total resistance and so the TCR for the resistor becomes higher. A four terminal Kelvin termination 
is notched to remove a portion of the high TCR copper from the measurement circuit. This improves the component TCR performance that could not be realized with a four pad layout on a two terminal device. The notch is not extended all the way to the resistance alloy because the copper terminal still provides a low resistance connection to measure the current channel passing through the resistor. The notch height is based on the trade-off of measurement accuracy and enhanced TCR performance. Often designers are considering a low TCR from the standpoint of temperature stability with changing environmental temperature but it also has an influence based on applied power, sometimes referred to as power coefficient of resistance. As power is applied, the resistance element increases temperature and so does the copper terminal. A component with low TCR provides temperature stability for increased ambient temperature and applied power conditions to provide an accurate current measurement. This illustration is of the WSK1216 or WSLP2726 that indicates the notch construction. The elevated construction of this series enables a larger resistance element so the low TCR resistance alloy can have the greatest contribution to the total resistance value of the component as compared to the copper terminal effects while still maintaining a compact footprint. The WSLP 3921 and 5931 sizes offer the lowest resistance value of the surface mount power metal strip series, down to 100 microohm. They also offer the highest power rating of 15 watts. This performance envelope is often necessary for battery management systems, high power traction inverters, and motor control 48 volt automotive applications in electric vehicles. The WSLT series extends the temperature range up to 275 degrees C. This allows the devices to be used in gallium nitride inverter modules or high temperature under the hood applications. The WSK1216 is a new series for automotive applications. It features a four terminal Kelvin termination to offer more accurate and repeatable current measurement and the best possible TCR for devices with resistance value of 1 milliohm and below. The series is currently available down to 0.5 milliohm with 0.2 and 0.3 milliohm being released by the end of this year. It will offer a very low TCR value of 50 parts per million providing superior temperature stability for high current measurement. The 8 watts in the 1216 footprint offers the highest power density of any current sense resistor. This series is ideal for automotive applications such as electronic braking and power steering to reduce vehicle weight and improve reliability. The WSLP2726 and 4026 sizes offer extremely low resistance values down to 200 microohm, high power ratings of 12 watts, and benefits of four terminal Kelvin termination. The Kelvin termination improves current measurement accuracy and repeatability and provides improved TCR performance over a two terminal construction. The low TCR performance offers more stable current measurement over an ambient temperature range and also the temperature increase due to applied power. The 2726 configuration offers the benefits of a smaller footprint while the 4026 allows for automatic inspection of the solder fillet. These series provide improved accuracy in battery management systems as well as dynamic braking and power distribution safety switches for 48 volt automotive applications and electric vehicles. The WSLT series extends the temperature range up to 275 degrees C for high temperature under the hood applications. The WSL2512 Power Metal Strip Series was introduced with a wide resistance range from 0.5 milliohms up to 500 milliohms and with low TCR and pulse capability. However, it was limited to a rated power of 1 watt. And then came the WSLP2512 Series, which extended the power rating up to 3 watts but was limited in resistance range. The new WFM Series extends the performance range of the WSLP series to 4 watts with the full resistance range of the WSL. 
The result is both a high power rating and a wide resistance range, combined with automotive grade level reliability. The WFM offers multiple features that make it an ideal choice for designs that require long-term, robust, and reliable performance, such as those in automotive and industrial applications. The WFM's thermally efficient design enables a high power rating compared to standard rated products of the same size. This enables circuit designers to downsize while maintaining the same capability. A wide resistance range supports design flexibility, allowing it to be used in a wide range of applications. Low inductance that minimizes signal distortion, an automotive grade, which is a Vache quality program that exceeds basic AEC Q200 qualification testing. The high power density is a result of superior construction that maximizes heat transfer from the resistance element to the PCB. The key features are large copper plates that spread the heat out of the resistance element and into the PCB. This reduces hot spot temperatures and improves long-term resistance element stability. A thin layer of thermal film electrically isolates the resistance element from the copper heat spreader plates. This ensures a short and efficient thermal path. A nickel chromium resistance alloy for the B version provides a thicker, more robust resistive plate compared to the competitors. Together, these three construction features provide the increased power density and long-term performance benefits of the WFM series. The WFM provides a wide resistance range and high power rating that enables much higher power density compared to a standard chip resistor and a lifetime stability of 0.1%. Often when power density increases, the trade-off is that changes in resistance increases with time, but not with the WFM because of its resistance alloy and heat spreader construction. The combination of power density and stability makes it an ideal choice for automotive applications that require stability with limited board space. These include transmission controls where changes in resistance can cause hard shifting between gears as the electronics age. The large shunts category continues the power metal strip series down to extremely low resistance values of 50 microohm. That supports designs up to 50 watts or 1000 amps. The chart shows the performance envelope as it compares to other current measurement technologies. The direct current measurement method of resistive solution offers the lowest measurement response time compared to a Hall effect device. This reduces phase angle measurement differences to maximize motor torque. A current resistor also provides stability over a long lifetime across a broad frequency range and current ratings while providing immunity to magnetic interference. Additionally, a resistive solution has the lowest production cost compared to hauled effect devices when a design is in mass production. This infographic provides an overview of different types of construction features, sizes, and applications for the power shunt series. The graphic also provides a technology comparison of various direct and indirect current measurement methods. The WSBS 8518 has a unique combination of construction features that provides unmatched TCR performance at ultra low resistance values. The novel boot notch creates an isolated region to measure current flow. This minimizes the TCR contribution of the high TCR copper terminal at the sensing location. Its nickel chromium resistance alloy provides better performance than a manganese copper resistance alloy, enabling a TCR performance of 65 parts per million per degree C at 100 microohms. We will show the short demonstration of how the boot shaped isolation provides improved TCR, also referred to as RTC or resistance temperature coefficient by comparing a standard part against the same with the boot feature. The demonstration can also be found on YouTube with the address or searching for WSBS 8518 RTC. 
Today we're going to show the improved RTC performance of the WSBS 8518-35 battery shunt resistor. The equipment that will be used today, uh, the first piece of equipment is the bridge which will take the resistance reading of the component. On top of that is a temperature gauge which will let us know the temperature of the resistive element for each of the components. We then have two fixtures. One fixture has the WSBS 8518-35 with the nickel chrome alloy and the other fixture has our standard WSBS 8518 micro ohm with the manganin alloy that we're comparing it to. And then on the uh, computer screen we will show the results of all of the readings at uh, room temperature, cold and hot temperatures and then compare the two. The first device we're going to test is a WSBS 8518 standard component. It's 100 micro ohm and uses a manganin alloy. There's a thermal couple attached to the uh, bottom of the resistor to determine the, the temperature of the resistive element and then it's uh, connected to the bridge uh, to take the resistance reading. The WSBS 8518-35 resistor has both nickel chrome resistance alloy, it has a patented boot design and calibration cut. Uh, all of this combined helps improve the RTC performance of the resistor. Our standard component is 175 ppm. This improved design is less than 65 ppm. The initial room temperature is 22.5 degrees Celsius and the reading at that temperature is 103.65 microns. To chart the resistance readings we first clear out the data and now when I hit run this will be for the standard WSBS 8518 at room temperature it's reading 103.65 microohms and you can see on the chart it's, it's charting the resistance value reading. Uh, to first prove the RTC performance we're going to do a test at around negative 20 degrees C so I will hit the WSBS 8518 with cold spray till it gets the resistive element temperature to minus 20 degrees C. So now that's at that temperature we will run the test and it'll chart the resistance reading which is about 103.1 degrees. Okay now that the resistor has met a uh, temperature of negative 20 degrees C we, we hit the uh, run button and it read the resistance value was around 103.1 microohms and you can see the the chart and the change of resistance here. Okay now that we have uh, cooled it down we're going to heat it up to around 70 degrees C with a heat gun. So we'll uh, continue to heat it until it gets to 70 degrees C element temperature. Okay, now that it is at 70 degrees C, we will run. It'll take the resistance value. It's now at about 104.06. So we'll take a stop on that reading. And so now you can see the full range from cold to hot temperature for the standard WSBS 8518 manganin alloy element. Now that we've tested the uh, standard component, we've hooked up the WSBS 8518-35 and uh, we are going to take a resistance reading at room temperature. So when we hit uh, run, it is uh, reading around 99.95 microohms. Now that we've taken the room temperature reading, we're going to Hit the component with cold spray to get the resistive element down to minus 20 degrees C. And once we've done that, we will take the resistance value reading, which is around 99.91 microohms. And so I've hit stop, so it's charted the difference. So you can see the standard component cold temperature had a much larger shift than our new product for cold temperature. Uh, now that we've taken the cold temperature, we will heat the component up until the resistive element is to 70 degrees C. Now that the resistive element is to 70 degrees C, we will hit run to get the resistance value and then we'll hit stop. So now you've got the comparison of both the cold and hot temperatures. You can see the standard component has a much greater shift than the WSBS 8518-35. The main application for battery shunt resistor is in battery management and automotive applications. In automotive uh, under the hood conditions you have very large extremes in cold and high temperatures and the designer has to account for a shift in resistance due to these high temperatures. 
by utilizing the WSBS 8518-35 resistor, the designer does not have to worry about extreme shifts in resistance over that temperature range. The WSBS is available with a wide range of optional processes to fit your design needs. Choose a standard model, add holes or sense pins, bare copper or plated, molded housing and circuit, or with customized hardware additions. The data sheet is often what a designer considers when choosing a resistor. Data sheets for the Power Metal Strip series make it much easier to find deeper information through links to additional resources. These include 3D models and design tools, brochures that explain that automotive grade is more than just AECQ200, additional documents related to the product, easy connection to technical contacts that are specific to the product. This is a link found on all data sheets. Data sheets are often the design reference for circuit designers, but there is often much more data available. A data sheet is only able to offer a summary view of performance, but Vichet can support designers to a much greater extent for their high performance needs. For example, qualification data that provides summary statistics of product performance for a 2000 hour lifetime that enables error budget calculations that are often much better than the data sheet limits. Detailed TCR over a wide temperature range, not just 20 to 60 degrees C like some competitors. White papers that support a detailed understanding of factors to consider regarding current sense performance. Design tools such as Jewel Wizard that provide product pulse capability. PPAP documentation that is more comprehensive than some competitors that offer AEC Q200 qualification Vichet understands that if you are supported with the data that you need, you are better able to choose the best part to meet the performance and reliability that your circuit design requires. This webinar provided an overview of power metal strip and power metal plate technologies for current sensing resistors. As you have seen, they cover a broad range of configurations for a wide range of resistance values of 1 ohm to 50 micro ohm as well as specific performance advantages. This includes small size, high power density, and improved TCR characteristics. Finally, these technologies offer robust automotive grade performance for a lifetime of reliability and the data to support your design. And thank you for your time today to allow me to present Vichet's current sense resistor offering.